Welcome back everybody to the video. This is a renewed series of all theta game strategies like spreads, cover calls, cash secure puts, etc. Because so far the market is way too wacky. Look at this. It's virtually impossible to simply trade calls and puts but this is a perfect market to do spreads and also cover calls, cash secure puts, you name it. It's a really, really good area to actually trade. This is the perfect season right here but this is the worst graph to trade calls and straight up regular puts. Now, before we get started, if you guys wanna support the channel in the Discord server, there's a Patreon link below. If you click on it, there's different tiers. We offer a lot of day trades and swing trades from the mods and admins. You can also see my own personal trades on a live basis. Whatever I buy, whatever I sell, I post it on here, you will get alerts. You could pretty much copy these moves and make some money and there's also premium chat and also spreads and data if you guys have any questions we offer some really good customer support any questions on options trading we have a lot of mods admins available for you and we could definitely answer all your questions that you really need so it's honestly pretty cool especially it's peak trading hours and there's a lot of really crazy things going on so let's get back to the main topic about spreads we will be talking about put credit spreads and we'll be talking about call credit spreads so you may be asking why is buying calls and buying puts straight up is bad so if you check this out for example fastly let's say you want to buy this 130 dollar call sure implied volatility is absolutely insane at 96 percent a lot of times when people complain saying hey the stock went up but my calls didn't make money. That makes no sense. Why is that? It's because of the huge number of the implied volatility. 95% is considered pretty big. And usually when implied volatility falls, it's after a major event or after earnings. This is why I always kind of say, try not to play earnings because before earnings, implied volatility is extremely high. And for your option to actually make money, you need huge growth in the stock to actually have that. And implied volatility, each percent that it drops, the Vega is affected as well. The Vega is currently at six cents, which is around $6. So each percentage of the implied volatility drop is about $6 knocked off this contract. This contract is $285. You get the idea. I've seen implied volatility fall from 180% to like 80%. That is like a 100% drop. It's insane. So this is why I should always be really careful. And if you check out, for example, these Tesla calls, you clearly see the theta is insane as well. It's 95 cents and it's negative. So it's $95 if the market opens up completely flat. You lose 95 bucks, that's almost $100. And this contract is worth about $1,400. So it's pretty insane. But when you do spreads, well, you have two really cool things that's going on. First of all, you don't have to worry about the IV or Vega, which is pretty awesome. And second, you use Theta Decay to your advantage instead of it's to your disadvantage. So let's show you guys how to make, for example, a put credit spread, which is a really bullish option. So let's do this. Let's pick something pretty safe. I like to put it in the money since the chances of winning is extremely high. Let's pick something like $280. Let's buy a put right below that, click continue. Let's just open one for now, just to start things off a little bit, just nice and chill. So you can clearly see our minimum credit is $37. And if you get this filled, what this means is you get $37 right away into your Robinhood buying power. And that is pretty sweet. And we had to put down a collateral of 100 bucks. So if the whole trade goes to complete crap, you lose your collateral, but you still get like your minimum credit so your actual loss is like $63. It's not that bad. Now, before we dive any deeper, please close your spreads before 4 p.m. Friday expiration. Here's the reason why. It's pretty rare, but I've seen stuff on Reddit where after hours, the market tanks so much to the point that it pushes one of your legs out of the money. Long story short, you're forced to buy this giant position overnight. And I've seen people, they simply open up like, three put credit spreads, for example, or three debit spreads over the weekend. They just hold it. They didn't close it at all. Closing it literally costs a dollar to $2 a few minutes before expiration to that date. So just close it. It's not a big deal. So they are forced to hold this giant position because the markets tanked so much. Remember that one time where Tesla tanked 16% in a single day? Yeah, that's what happened. They lost like twenty to thirty thousand dollars. It got so bad to the point that they had to owe Robin Hood money. That's how bad it got. So please, long story short, close your spreads a few minutes 
before expiration 4 p.m. Fridays. Okay, so here's the trade. So around expiration date, if QQQ currently at $281 is above $280, which is our sell puts, you get your collateral back pretty much. And you obviously still get to keep your minimum credit of $36, $37. Now, if QQQ drops below $279, you lose all your collateral pretty much. But hey, you still get to keep your minimum credit. So I guess it's really just a net loss of $64. Now, what if QQQ is in between our two legs, the 280 and the 279? Every penny below $280 our sell put is a dollar knocked off for collateral. So if the market ends around like $279.98, that's two cent below $280, which is our sell put, strike you only get about 80 98 dollars of our collateral back but that's fine because we got our 37 dollars of minimum credit so i guess that's a net gain of 35 bucks so that's how a put credit spread works it's honestly pretty awesome and as long as a stock stays above your sell put leg you're making money right there and if you check out the markets right now it's honestly pretty hectic and pretty crazy now some people even say, what if I drag my put credit spread like super low, like let's say like $274. You could do that. It's extremely safe and you get a 21% gain that week. And that is pretty sweet. You're out beating the market if you're making 21% per week. And I highly doubt QQQ could go from $281 to $274 in a span of a week. I mean, it does happen, but that's super rare because generally speaking, the US markets don't drop that much. Now, let's try a call credit spread. If you feel like the markets are a little bit too inflated, do a call credit spread, which is a very bearish option. So let's pick something like $285, and we will be buying a call right above our sell call. And you can clearly see our minimum credit is 39 bucks. Okay, that's pretty sweet, and obviously you gotta put down a collateral of $100. Same thing, if around expiration date, maybe 3.55 p.m., Friday, October 16th, if the share price of QQQ is below $285, congratulations, you pretty much get all your collateral back and obviously you still could keep your minimum credit of $39. If QQQ is above $286, which is our buy call, if it's above that, well, you lose all your collateral, but you still get your $39. So that's not really that bad of a loss, even though it's pretty painful. And if it's in between, once again, every penny above our sell call, which is our $285, is gonna be a full dollar knocked off the collateral. So it's just like 10 cents above $285, is you're gonna be getting about $90 of collateral back instead of $100, and you still can keep your minimum credit, which you always get right away. So the cool thing about these spreads is you get a really insane high chance of winning because a lot of times the markets really just look like this. It's super choppy, it goes up and down, up and down. And the really cool thing is you can make off of money from this choppiness. A lot of people are struggling to make money from calls and puts. Look at today, for example. If you entered in around like, for example, this morning and you bought a call, you're not making any money because the market's literally going up and down, up and down. This is the perfect market for spreads because you don't really care. As long as this specific share price is around that region, you're making max profit. Now, obviously with spreads, you're not gonna be making, for example, 100 or 200% in a single week. But keep in mind with straight up naked options like calls and puts, one bad step, you lose all your money. But with spreads, well, you're aiming for maybe 10, 20, 30% gain in a week. And over a course of several weeks of winning like this, you can make a ton of cash. Now, one word of advice with spreads. Now, obviously there's still a risk because if you do screw up, you lose all of your collateral. So here's what I recommend. When you do spreads, let's say you have $1,000, do one contract one at a time. Don't go all in because the markets are too volatile. I say, if you have $1,000, maybe do one or two spreads every single day, no matter what the market is, red or green, and make sure you have a safe distance. And you could definitely determine which strategy to use. If you feel like the market is turning really bearish, go for a call credit spread. If you feel like the markets are turning really bullish, go for a put credit spread. That's what I recommend. And once again, I better not see you guys straight up buying calls or straight up buying puts. 
you're really risking yourself to exposure to implied volatility, the vega, the theta decay. It's pretty painful, I gotta tell you that. And the majority of people that win money from options are simply doing spreads. A lot of people on my Discord server, which is free by the way, link in the description below, 15,000 members, they said that they actually made their money back by doing spreads in just a single month. Obviously, some people might say, oh, well, you could've just bought calls and make all that back in two days. Yeah, but that's kinda like a lottery ticket play. Spreads, it's way more consistent, and you can slowly win money because you got this really nice buffer zone right here that protects you. That's about it, thanks for watching and comment below. Definitely share this video everyone and thanks for making it to the end of the video.